Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. How was your day? It was busy. Ah, but very good. Because it's Friday. <laughs> I know. I know. Do you have any plans for the weekend? Um, only stay with my family. Ah, sounds good. Sounds good. It is important to rest. Yes. Very good. All right. Uh, did you work on the platform? And I'm working now on the Midnight Sun. Ah, okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. Well, I hope you enjoyed your weekend. Try to rest a little bit. Do you work on weekends or do you have weekends off? I have weekends off. Ah, good for you. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. Very good. So let's see. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the class. Welcome to the class. Well, I'm going to give a minute in order that your classmates can, can connect. Good evening. Hello, hello. How are you? Um, a little tired. <laughs> yeah, but it's Friday. <laughs> yes, yeah, <it's> Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, I know. Uh, I don't have plans, but um, uh, tomorrow uh, uh, we we will celebrate a birthday um, birthday um, friends my daughter a birthday I'm sorry. Birthday, uh, the friends, my daughter. Oh, really? Yes. So, a party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, sounds good. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Uh, I'm fine. Uh, creo que enviaron un link equivocado hoy porque me acabo de unir con el link de hoy y había otro grupo. Oh, really? Okay. Thanks for telling me. I'm going to resend the link for today's class. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Let me send again the link so your classmates won't be mistaken. Okay, I already resent it because, yeah, I think that the link is not the same. Thanks for telling me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, well, everybody, welcome to the class and thank you so much for being on time. It's Friday, everyone. What are your plans for the weekend? What do you think? Anything interesting? Yes? No? Ah, okay. If you don't have plans, we can give extra homework. Yes or no? Do you want extra homework? No? Ah, oh, come on. Okay, everyone. I can see only one with the camera on. What happens with the others? I want to see you guys. Keep the camera on, please. Today, basically, guys, we are going to be finishing the unit number two. Um, I have some students which had uh, some issues on the platform uh, about an exercise that we haven't studied yet. I'm going to explain that exercise in order that you can continue working on the platform. And later, we are going to see <clears throat> sorry, with more attention, that topic, okay? So, but this is in order that everybody can understand uh, the topic. Now, um, I hope your classmates are not entered in the run link. What was the group where you appear with the other group? I mean, with the other link.
¿A qué grupo aparecieron? Si entran al otro link, ¿en qué grupo aparecieron? ¿Anyone? Por cierto, estoy comiendo. Eh, no me fijé bien. Ok. Solo, solo vi de que la gente era completamente diferente y me salí. Ah, ok. Y entré, y entré de nuevo el link. Sorry. Ok, no, no, no. Thank you, thank you. Vamos a reportarlo so it don't happen again. Okay, well, thank you everybody. It's Friday. Welcome to the class. I hope you can enjoy the weekend. Let's start. Today we are going to have a lot of practice. So let's see. I want to see. I, I can see only two. Okay, well, let's start everyone. I'm going to share the presentation. Can everybody see it? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, today is July 14th. Do you remember the topics that we have been studying during all this week? Uh huh. Connectors. Connectors, yes. What else? Yeah. We pass past tense. Yes, that's correct too. Some phrase for give my opinion. Very good, exactly. And the rest of you guys, what else? Other topics that we have been studying during this week? Uh, expressing opinion. Expressing opinions, mm -hmm. yes. Do you remember the topics related to outsourcing? PL, one, two, three, three PL. Correct. Very good. Excellent. So try to review the topics, everyone. Okay. Now, um, as I mentioned, some of your classmates told me that they have issues with some of the exercises that appears on the platform. And is this one. It's in the homework 3.3, 3.5, uh, I'm sorry on your platform. Um, this exercise is a topic that we haven't studied yet. So I'm going to explain it in order that you can complete the exercise, okay? And later uh, next week, we are going to study this topic uh, more deeply or deeper, I'm sorry, okay? So in this exercise, guys, um, we can see the explanation on the manual. Okay, uh, basically this topic is about transitions. Okay, transitions guys is basically another type of connectors. Okay, but these connectors is to express results. Okay, so imagine that you are explaining something and you want to explain at the end the result. So you can use connectors to join the ideas. Some of these expressions are as a consequence, as a result, consequently, um, therefore, those are the connectors. So basically guys, when we yeah. use these types of transitions, what we need to keep in mind is the punctuation, okay? We have two options. The first option, um, these transitions, basically they connect two sentences. I have the sentence number one here and I have the sentence number two here. And the connector is just in the middle. So the first option is after the first sentence, you can use a point and then capital letter and the, uh, the connector. After the connector, you need to add a comma, okay? That's the first option. The second option is instead of using a point, you can use a semicolon. If you use a semicolon, you don't need capital letters, okay? It's just a lowercase. And 
always add a comma. So basically, that's the rule, okay? Point, capital letter, and comma, or semicolon, and then a comma. Um, as I mentioned, we are going to see this topic deeper, okay? The idea just is just to explain the exercise for the ones that are already working in that unit. So if we go to the exercise, I have the two sentences here. The first sentence is, um, we remove items from cartoons and packages. That's the first sentence. The second sentence is, pickers are not able to find them when they need to. And the connector in this scenario is as a result. So in this exercise, you need to try. You can use semicolon or point. So let's copy the first sentence, okay? Then I'm going to add a semicolon. I'm going to copy the connector, okay? Again, guys, in this type of exercises, remember that punctuation is important. One letter is wrong, everything will be wrong, okay? A result, as result, comma. Exactly, and then the rest of the sentence. Tickets are not able to find them when they need to. Correct, look. And basically, that is what you have to do. As I mentioned, you have two options, everyone. You can use a semicolon or a point. So in this scenario, I'm going to try it with the semicolon, okay? Let's send the answer. And if it gives you an error, that means, ah, okay, because, because we have two options, let's change it. Instead of the semicolon, what is the other options that we have? Point. Capital letter. Point. And capital point. Letter. point. point and capital letter. Capital yeah. letters. And the rest is the same. Comma and the rest of the sentence. Okay, let's try it again. And we send it. And look, now it's correct. Mm -hmm. So you just have to try with two options. Remember that in this case, the platform is already set uh, with one answer. <laughs> so sometimes you had to discover what is the correct answer, yeah. but that's all. In the Excuse me, teacher. Two, yes? Can you please uh, show us the, the before the, the you know, uh, short explain the... the, the, oh, the, the grammar about, box? Yeah, yeah that's this about one? short, all right. Mm -hmm. So if you want, guys, you can take a screenshot if you want. Remember that this is in your manuals. It's in the page yeah. 28 too, so you can okay. check it. Mm -hmm. okay. But basically, that is the rule. Okay? That is the rule. Okay, thank you very much. So okay. well, sir. Yes? Yes. In the last page, uh, I saw that the two question is uh, together and uh, will be wrong. In which one? Is in the same exercise? Uh, it's in unit three, but I remember that it's in the last page. And three point seven, I guess. Okay, I let's see. Okay, let me open it up. But uh, did you copy this one already? Yes, the ones. Yeah, it's page twenty eight. Yes, look, it's in the page twenty eight in your manual. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So uh, before going to the exercise that Lorena mentioned, is it clear, guys, the way that you can resolve the, is the exercise 3.5? Okay, very well. Yes, Thank you. everyone? Yes. 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 Okay, try. I understand it. Very good, try. If it is still you have issues with this exercise, well, let me know and we can continue trying to resolve it. Okay. Um, let me open up the ones that Lorena mentioned. Is in 3.9. The last one? It's the last one. Last okay. One. Well, give me a second because it's a little bit slow. Sorry. Oh, okay. Is this one? Yes, Lorena, is this the one? 
Sorry, teacher. Yes, it's the exercise three and four. Mm. Three. No, no, uh, no. In this page, but ah. yes. mm -hmm. three and four is together. Okay. This. This, this one. Ah, oh. okay. So manual lifting. Ah, so basically the options in the third one, and then it says number four, and these are the options for the number four, right? That's what you mean? O sea, es como que tenemos yes. la pregunta, esta es la pregunta tres, y estas son las respuestas como las opciones de la pregunta tres. Y luego está la pregunta cuatro, y estas son las opciones de la pregunta cuatro. That's what you mean? Yes. Yes, uh, pero cuando uno lo resuelve. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sorry. Uh, Continue, Rafael. No, hágalo <laughs> usted. Lo siento. Eh, lo que pasa es que el porcentaje sí lo contabiliza completo. Entonces, como esa pregunta falta, es como mm. que no se hubiese hecho. Maya, en este caso, guys, eh, as I mentioned before, sometimes the platform gives these kind of errors, okay? Eh, we are going to report it in order that they can fix it, all right? So in this case, when you finish the exercise, I always can see the score, okay? So in this case, everybody, I mean, ustedes contesten la cuatro en este caso, right? Y el porcentaje que haga falta para hacerlo llegar al 100, yo se los voy a añadir, ¿ok? Siempre y cuando esta sea la única pregunta que pues les haga falta, right? Así que contesten las que sí se puedan. And the error, I mean, leave it as it is. Y el porcentaje que haga falta, yo se los añado. Eso mismo hice, si se fijan, eh, con el ejercicio en la unit number one. Había una, un ejercicio ahí que siempre daba una como error. Así que eh, en el porcentaje, right, les voy a mostrar. Eh, give me a second. Ok, because the exercise in the unit number one, it was always an error, si se fijan. Algunos siempre quedaban como con el porcentaje del 96, right? Eh, 96, 96, pero era precisamente por ese único, esa única oración que es la plataforma la que siempre la toma incorrecta. Entonces lo que yo hice es que al momento de irme al cuadro de notas, yo no les coloqué 96, yo les coloqué el 100%, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando la plataforma da ese tipo de errores, pues yo siempre les doy el porcentaje que les hace falta. Pero repito, guys, this is only a los que les falta solamente ese ejercicio. Porque yo reviso los ejercicios que ustedes han hecho, reviso, puedo ver qué les salió mal, qué les salió bien. Así que solo el porcentaje que les haga falta, a ellos sí se los voy a añadir. Si de repente ustedes se sacaron 40% en la unidad, no se lo puede hacer llegar al 100, right? I mean, tampoco. Pero sí, siempre les doy el porcentaje cuando hay un ejercicio que ya es cuestión de la plataforma. ¿Ok? Pretty good. Is there any other exercise that is giving you error or something? Anyone? Nope. Okay, so thanks for telling me, all right? And no worries. Again, the exercise 3.5, we are going to see it in the class, okay? And we are going to continue practicing, but the next week, because the next week, basically, guys, we are going to start the unit number three. Now, uh, in order to finish with today's week, this is the topic, we are going to design a basic checklist to hire a 3PL provider. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes? Yes, teacher. Excellent, thank you. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer for reading, please. Class objective. Uh, participants will be able to a checklist to hire a 3PL provider. Very good. So in this moment, guys, if you remember the practice that we have this week, 
we had a business. Some of you decided that your business is going to be second party logistics. Some of you said that it will be third party logistic and that's great. So now we are going to see, okay, I'm going to be third party logistic. I need to outsource a company. How can I hire a company? Okay, what are the requirements that I need to ask to the company that I'm going to outsource? So basically that's what we are going to do. But before that, I'm going to check attendance. So everybody, when you listen to your names, say present. Ana Lorena? Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander? Present teacher. Very good. Carlos Alberto? Carlos Alberto? No? Okay. Carlos Ernesto? Present. Okay. Edwin Antonio? Present teacher. Very good. Elias Neftali? Okay, Eulice Torres. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador. Okay, I think he's listener, right? Josman Atilio. Present. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Nelson Alberto. Okay. Um, Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Very Present good. teacher. Sorry. Ah, okay. It's okay. Thank you, Nelson. I was, I was eating. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you. Um, Pamela Carolina. I think she's listener. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Rafael Alexander. Present. Okay. Santiago Roberto. Present teacher. Very good. And Wilber Alberto. Present. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Let's start, everyone. As I mentioned, let's Teacher, think I'm here. about. Sorry. Oh, Eli. Eli. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Welcome to the class. All right. Let's start, everyone. Let's start with uh, some vocabulary. Look at these pictures. So we have the first word, receiving. What is the meaning of receiving? Don't tell me the translation. I don't want the translation. I want the meaning. So what is receiving? What is that? Entrega. Okay, hmm. but that is the translation. Tell me the meaning. Oh. When? Uh, uh, I you something. When you check the list versus the product. Okay, all right. Okay. Another idea? When other people or person give me something and I catch up. It's okay, yes, very good. So well, then- It's a receiving can you can say that somebody gives you something or a, uh, present with or or something that you paid and you get exactly very good that, all right paid. very good so that is receiving. receiving now look at the next picture and we have taking what is that look put over uh Something over something or something like that. Okay, yes. Another idea? Uh, stack uh, could be, can be uh, something that you, the action or to move something or to put on, uh, I don't know, to process. Mm -hmm. Ima imagine guys that you have a lot of boxes <laughs> right? right so you put one box on another and another in order to create a pile of boxes right, right? that is taking now packing hmm what is packing wrap something <laughs> wrap something yeah sounds good 
maybe keep a product into box? Yes. Box. Yeah. In a box, inside of the box. Basically that. And then we have shipping. What is shipping? Any idea? Maybe prepare the product or box to delivery. Ah, very good. So basically- the, It could be the transport of uh, goods. Okay. By sea or, or by air or by a car, by truck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Elias, what do you say? Um, send the product. Basically. So guys, shipping is like deliver, okay? So send the product, deliver the product, okay? Keep in mind this word because we are going to see it in the exercise. Okay, third out. But excuse me. Yeah. I, I want to ask you, I, I thought normally that shipping, it was, it is only for uh, uh, the transport to sea, but... Uh, it's not only this way. Well, not yeah. always. Can you explain that? Please? Basically, guys, shipping is like the lever. Okay. If we use the word ship, I know that ship is when we are talking about a boat, right? Like ship. Right. But right. not necessarily ship is going, shipping okay. is going to be just by boat. Okay. It's basically delivery in all the kind of a kind of transport. We can use this word uh, normally to, to uh, for delivery then? Basically, yes. Mm -hmm. This word actually, guys, is very common in the companies. We know that people, we, I mean, the customers, we most of the time use deliver, but in the companies, okay. they use more ship or shipping. Right. And do you know if the word is the same meaning in United Kingdom and uh, in USA? It could be. Yeah. I don't okay. know exactly with uh, the okay. United Kingdom, but okay. because of the companies are international, they always use the same one. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it clear, this vocabulary, everyone? Okay. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. The next one, Pluto. Look at the picture. What do you understand by this word? Uh huh. Looking for information. Hmm. Could be looking for information. What else? Maybe check the information. Ah, okay. Looking for information, check the information, but look at this one. Do you think that this person is paying a lot of attention or not? Yes. He's figuring out something. Ah, um, if you see this person is paying attention even in the little details, right? So yeah, carefully, carefully for details. Exactly. Right. So what do you think, guys? What will be the translation for this word? What is the name of a person who looks for the little details very carefully? What is that? Exactly, person. <laughs> Supervisor. I'm sorry, can you repeat? Maybe supervisor. A supervisor do this. They they do this kind of job. Uh, be careful with the microphones, everyone. So if you see in this case, guys, this could be an adjective, right? And this is like minucioso, right? It's yeah. a person who looks I say a little exactly, details. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, minucioso, right? Minucioso, yeah. right? So are minucioso. you... Ah, yes, that could be another one. So guys, what about you? Do you consider yourself a third person or not? Yes, I, I am. Yes, I am. Are you thought of? Yeah. People hate me for that. <laughs> oh, really? Yes, because... okay. How is the pronunciation? Thorough. Thorough, yeah. Thorough. Mm-hmm. 
photo. Okay, then we have assessments. Look at the picture. What is assessment? In this picture, teacher, uh, I can see a girl doing something like test. Exactly. So what is the meaning of assessment? Evaluation. Evaluation is like a test, an exam. Basically, assessment is a synonym. Okay? Clear the vocabulary, everyone? Yes? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. So now that we checked the vocabulary, I have a question for you. Think about your company, okay? The company that you work on, does your company use warehouse function? Like in this case, receiving, staking, packing, shipping. Does your company do this kind of job? Yes, yes, teacher, in my, in my case, uh, there is a warehouse. There is ah. a basic, it's not basic, basic it's big, big warehouse. <laughs> So basically, uh, in your company, they do all of these ones. Yes, receiving, stocking, packing, uh, shipping. Shipping. Nice. Yes. Okay. How about you guys? Does your company do this job? Accepting uh -huh. stocking. Ah, okay. So. Just receiving, packing, and shipping. Yes. Okay, excellent. How about you guys? The rest of you, does your company do some of these actions? Some of these functions? In my case, uh, my company, I three activity. Receiving, staking, and shipping. Uh, shipping. shipping. So packing, shipping. you don't do that? No, because the, it's the product finally. It's uh -huh. the, the, the distribution, the store, and the, and the shipping at the customer service. Ah, okay. Sounds good. It's Interesting. Okay, pretty good. Now, I have another question. Think about it this why it is important to do a thought of needs assessment because hiring a 3PL service provider. What do you think? Imagine that I have a company. Um, in my company, we only do, um, we only do receiving, stacking and packing. I need to outsource a company for shipping. So why do you think that it is important to have an assessment, a very deep and carefully assessment before hiring the outsourced company? Why is that important? What do you think? I think it's important because when, in, in my case, in my case, mm -hmm. my company wants to send the product to the customer. Uh, uh, can sure be thoroughs, thoroughs? What is the pronunciation? Thoroughs. 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 Because, because this this sourcing uh, has, has, has to compliance. Has to compliance. Uh, the, the, this sourcing uh, tiene que garantizar. It, it the, has to the, guarantee? Guarantee to mm -hmm. deliver uh, the product to the customer. Very good. And not only to deliver, right? They have to deliver it in good conditions yes. and the right place, the right time. Very good. Uh, hi, everyone. How about you? Why it is important? What do you think? My work is important, mm -hmm. uh, And my job, right? Uh, Equip, uh, equipos, uh, how do you say equipos? Equipment. Equipment, uh, very, very expensive. So um, it's important to do a thorough. 
Yes, very uh, carefully. Uh, because uh, the, the, the equipment, equipment mm -hmm. has a def defect, one, or a damage, a, a damage uh -huh. is um, to value, value, just a valer, the guarantee. And and basically, it, it's a huge problem, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, for example, uh, the uh, the question before is in my job, uh, you, we use a sport lift mm -hmm. on the carga. Okay. Yeah, but yeah, it's stuck in the with me. Oh, okay. I I think teacher that the uh, uh, it doesn't care which uh, channel uh, we are uh, uh, first PL, two PL or three PL because mm -hmm. you need constant to uh, uh, have a, a thorough uh, assessment because you need always to make assessment Correct. always uh, in your uh, in your uh, what, what's it then the life uh, production the life uh, 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 sale of the company of the product you need always because you need the quality the the all this uh, the uh, uh, what you need uh, uh, to be in with the product you need always to be uh, to have uh, the right uh, place uh, trans right pla uh, right condition um, right quantity right quality right transportation always and a good team you need to All have right. the best team in order right. to have it's a good a process assessment right you need a process exactly always to be constant to to have a, a photo and in this case guys the idea for this question is because right now we are going to evaluate a third pl provider okay? okay now i have here different vocabulary okay always related to logistic so i want you guys to match the logistic service with the corresponding meaning okay i want you to pay a lot of attention in this moment i just want you it's not necessary and i don't want you to translate every single word i want you to read again catch the key words and try to match them remember that sometimes imagine in your job you receive an email or you have some information that is full in english sometimes we are not going to be able to understand every single letter every single word what do we need we need to try to get at least the main idea. So that's what I wanted to do here. So we have a LEED certification or lead certification, freight forwarding service, disaster recovery plan, cross docking capability. So what is that? Try to identify the meaning, everyone, and match them. Again, Try to identify the keywords. I will give you five minutes and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not. Okay? Okay. Is it clear, Thank the activity? You. Yes? Very clear. Excellent. Okay, guys, five minutes. Go ahead.
If you have questions, let me know, please. Try to get the keywords, all right? Three more minutes. Let me know when you're ready. Try to get the keywords. And let's see if your answers are correct. One more minute. Are you ready, everyone? Did you finish or not yet? Uh huh. Do you have the answers? I, I think yes. Okay. Yes, teacher. All right. So the idea is to get the keywords. Let's start with the first one. Uh, lead certification. Have you ever heard that one? It provides a point system to a score green building the same and construction. Okay. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. Yes, yes. I agree. Yes. So pay attention here. What is the meaning of lead certification? Basically, this is a certification that some companies have. Um, to prove, right, that they um, are green, right? Mm -hmm. uh, that they care about the environment, that they try to save the environment, design constructions that are pro the world, okay? So if you are going to hire a company or if you are going to outsource a 3PL, do you think that it's important for you that the company has this certification or it's not so relevant for you? What do you think? It's important. It is important, okay. Yes, it's, and, it's a, it's a confiability. confiability. Mm, okay. And you guys? Imagine that you are going to hire a third PL. So it is important for you that this company is green or it's just like, eh, it's the same. <laughs> what do you think? It's important because when uh, the company have certification, they have a standardizing your standards. process, mm -hmm. a standards your process, and the certification is a, a proof, maybe the great. 
Ah, very good point. Excellent. Excellent. So remember, remember the vocabulary because we are going to use it. Then we had freight forwarding service. What is that? Have you ever heard that? A company, A company that, that organizes shipments and for a corporation to get good get goods from the manufacturer to a market, customer or final point of distribution. Do you agree, everyone? Yes. I agree. Basically, these companies, guys, or freight forward service, they are talking about the different services that they offer, especially when we are talking about distribution, shipments, okay? Now, number C, disaster recovery plan. What is that? It's the last yeah. set of procedure to recover and protect a business, it infrastructure in the event of a disaster. Good. Now think again, imagine that you want to hire or you want to outsource a third PL. What do you think? It is important that that company has or offers you a disaster recovery plan? Or no, what do you think? It is important for you? Yes. 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 Why? Is uh. Uh-huh. In a construction, always are a, a risk. So a government a, ensure that the companies a must a uh, certificate uh, about the disaster recovery plan so they need to, to, to they must to be a uh, covered about that that's true so imagine guys it's better if your company has a backup right a backup plan in case that a disaster happens so remember that we never know <laughs> okay imagine that you have a company and suddenly appears a natural disaster or an accident, it's better if the company can offer you a disaster recovery plan. Very good. Then we have cross docking capability. What is that? Volunteer for reading the definition, please. Okay, me teacher. Yes, thank you. Products from a supplier are distributed, 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 distributed directly to a customer or retail chain with marginal to no handling or storage time. Later, guys, in the next unit, we are going to see uh, a little deeper this meaning, cross docking. But basically, this is just a type of warehouse. Okay, no worries. We are going to study a little bit more about it. So we are just talking about guys some logistic services. If you see some companies offer this kind of logistic services, why it is important to know this vocabulary? Well, in this moment, we have this checklist. I wanted to imagine that you have a company and you have to tell me which of these are important for you in order to hire a company, okay? We are going to group, uh, work in groups and you have to tell me, guys, read carefully all the aspects that are here in this checklist, okay? And with your classmates, you have to decide the areas that you consider the candidates needs to have, okay? So for example, you can say, mm, okay, I need to outsource a company for delivery. Okay, which of these ones are important? 
So they are financially stable with a long history of successful operation. Do you think that this is one of the aspects that you will require to an outsource company? Yes or not? What do you think? Yes. Be Are you sure? Because mm -hmm. um, when you get uh, when you get a service, um, the manufacturer maybe not is um, how do you say al día or pagada al día. It's not, I'm not sure. Let me check. Um, <laughs> the payments are the payment, not are not in order, are not on time. Yeah, the payment my, is, is, my, is my not in, on time. Mm -hmm. On time mm -hmm. or up to date? On time or up to date? Okay. And mm -hmm. so uh, the the company um had to assume that cost uh, for um, uh, the, the, the salary of, of all the people um, uh, the company needs uh, are uh, financially stable. All right, sounds good. So imagine the next one. They have great references. If you're going to hire a company, do you think that this is an important requirement? Yes or no, or it's just a plus. If they have it, good. If they don't have it, uh, it's okay. So have great reference. Are you going to ask as a requirement to a company that you want to hire? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. Opinion, yes, teacher. Why? Why do you think that have great references is important? It's important because the if the relevant the company, in uh, for example, your quality service and your quality products, is the referent the customer uh, order uh, order customer or your friend or your family. And a bad service or a bad product is a bad commented the company. And uh, this is important, the, the, the reference. Okay, so the references are important. Everybody, do you agree with him or do you have another opinion? <clears throat> I agree. I agree. You, yes? Hmm, okay. So we are going to work in groups and we are going to say, I mean, listen, I just want you to pick the ones that are the most important for you. Think about the characteristics that you want that your company have, got it? If you think that it's not so important, if you think that it's just a plus, okay, pick no. Understood? Yes? Now, in Teacher, groups, yes? I have a question. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand very well. Uh, need classify, classify and yes or not all, or is necessary to check the most important? The most important, the most important for you. For example, if you think, um, I'm not asking to the company to have uh, experience in the countries in which you do the business. For me, no, I'm not asking that to the company. Okay, so ask no, clicking no. Okay, it's okay. not necessary to say yes to all of this one. No guys, just think, you want to hire a company, you just have to tell me which characteristics do you ask to that company. Okay, that's all. And Remember, cross docking is basically that they are offering you warehouse. That is the meaning for cross docking, warehouse, okay? So, um, because we are going to be in groups, I will need you guys to check the answers. And later, please, when you have the answers, 
take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's groups so we can compare the answers. Got it? Yes? Yes. Everybody, is it clear the activity? Yes? Yes. Okay. Um, there are some of your classmates that are listeners. Okay. So let me just create a groups. Give me a second. Don't forget, please, to take the screenshot and send it. All right. We are going to compare the different point of view. There will be some groups that will be smaller than others. Okay. Okay, let's go to work, everybody. Remember, click yes, only the characteristics that you are looking for on outsourcing company. If that is not important for you, okay, check note. Let's go to work. Uh -huh. Is anyone here? Hello, man. teacher. Okay, I have Hosman, I have Carlos. Um, I added Kevin, so I'm just waiting to Kevin to join you guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. I send the picture on WhatsApp group, so you can see the picture there. Okay, sure. Okay, the first question is Beth Kelly Steiner with a long history of successful operation. First case, Osman. Um, in my opinion, yes. Because it's so important that the company and the and view the opportunity, the major the whole process or machine. This is a very very important the decision the company. And more than a future is a opportunity. The major, major, the company. And you? Uh, my case is most important uh, because. Uh, for example, uh, when the company uh, to buy uh, a buy uh, the product, uh, this product uh, we use uh, we use best. For example, uh, uh, circle breaker. Okay, but in this case, boys, what do you think? If you want to hire a company, do you think that it's important that they are financial or financially stable? Or that they have a long experience? 
What do you think? It is important or not? Yes, it's important. Yeah. Pedirían, pedirían ustedes ese requisito antes de contratar a la compañía? Yes. Yeah. Ah. It's important in the decision that um, the period the service the company or no or, or I'll, um, bus, buscar uh, order, look. order of, look the order opportunity or a company uh, right. because I, I, uh, with the company I need the 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 um, the, um, the complete the 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 of the offer because it's important to serve uh, with my customer service. Perfect. Okay, because you say yes in that case, guys, what you have to do is that you have to click yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Then go to the number two. Do you think that it is important to have great references? Is something mm -hmm. that you will ask? ¿Pedirían eso como requisito o es como que, bueno, si las tiene bien, si no, no, no problem. What do you think? For me, it's important, uh, great reference, mm -hmm. because uh, I show me uh, experience. Okay. And you boys, what do you think? Uh, yes, it's important. Uh, this the it's important uh, the different opinion other other company or other uh, personal um, because the I I have the identify uh, identify the, the the service because I don't know uh, uh, I work with the company is it necessary the referring uh, with your for the the job your service. Uh, your machine, for example, mm -hmm. serving uh, is uh, a defin uh, definitely the, the service or contract or no contract. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have Rafael here. So, Rafael, do you agree with your classmates? Do you think that reference is important before hiring a company? Yes, it's important because you can make a idea who is the 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 uh, the like the experience that they have si sí, yes mm -hmm. you can imagine uh, what is the performance okay mm -hmm. So in this case, guys, if you consider that that is important, okay, click in yes too. At the end, you have to decide all of these ones. Uh, don't forget that at the end, you have to take a screenshot and send it on WhatsApp's group, all right? So we can compare your answers with the ones that your classmates sent, okay? If you check on WhatsApp's group, some of your classmates already sent the screenshot. So that's the way that I want you to do that. So try to hurry because of the time, okay? Okay. Pretty good. Okay, everyone, did you finish? No, teacher. Uh, uh, the other partner's classmate is uh, leave the... It's uh, gone. <laughs> Why? <laughs> who, who was your classmate? Boris. Ah, uh, okay. Maybe he joins soon. <laughs> okay, okay. Continue, please. Okay. This, this, yes. and there, uh, same. Who has the uh, The four, uh, they offer cross docking capability. Mm -hmm. I think. It's important because uh, when they have this case, uh, the product can be distributed directly to the customer. And I think uh, 
they don't have to go to the retail. Okay. Okay, I think so. The next DA offer freight forwarding service. Forwarding. I think that is important. What do you think? Let me see the upper right forward. Uh, it's important, but mm -hmm. if you hire uh, a personal, um, for, for instance, uh, so, uh, technical support, uh, if the company um, go down, I don't know, it's correct. Uh, the people that you hire, is there? Is, is there? Is there? It's not important that the company uh, go down or no. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So? Uh, the former yeah. question. Uh, they offer cross docking capa capability. 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 I, they I, I offer. They yeah. offer. They offer cross docking capability. I don't understand. I don't understand uh, yeah. cross docking capability. The teacher says is a uh, is like a warehouse. Yeah, warehouse. What? Warehouse. What? Um. Pues es una una es... gran capacidad de bode de bode de bodega. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That's explore. correct. Okay. What do you um, think? It's the bang of the service too. But do you think that is uh, something very important? No. How about you, Hosman? <sighs> I think. Mm, no, because if, if uh, outsourcing had used a big warehouse, uh, I think the product stay a long time, a long time in 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 this uh, warehouse. I, I prefer uh, outsourcing. Take take my product, my product, and shipping right very fast to the customer. Okay. Yeah, it's a good point. We we can yeah. we when we depends speak, depends we maybe maybe the product. When we when we speak about big big warehouse, it's no good good idea. Uh, long uh, the product uh, stay lo a long time in uh in a warehouse. Uh, you lost money. You lost money. <laughs> Yes, well, oh, all be your uh, agree with with this. Uh, the number five, they offer freight forwarding service. What is what is the freight forwarding? The 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 translate um, servicio freight. de carga. Freight. Uh -huh. Fre oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, Remember maybe. that that one is like uh, the definition in the previous exercise that we did, mm -hmm. right? It's basically, mm -hmm. guys, a company that uh, organized mm -hmm. shipments, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah, organized yeah. delivery, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. For me, it's yes. Mm -hmm. For me, it's the same scenario that the other, the the last, because <clears throat> guys, oh, you have why? to hurry up. We just have three more minutes, so <laughs> hurry, hurry. Um, I think that uh, to to San Martin. Hi, teacher. You finish? Yes. Yes. All right, okay. I'm just waiting for two teams to finish and then we're going to go back to the main room, okay? Okay, teacher. We, meanwhile, we are talking here. 
but in English, right? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. Not, 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 not German, not French, not <laughs> Korean. No, no, no. Only English. Only English. That's the attitude. Excellent. Okay. Guys, yeah, you have two more minutes. So hurry, hurry, please. Yes. <laughs> two more minutes. Okay, teacher. In my case, it's important to uh, the, the, the offer phrase for wedding services. Uh, for example, the uh, uh, transportation, the transformer is important in my job. Nice. They have uh, experience in the countries in which you do business. I think it's necessary. Yeah. Because my work, yes, it's necessary. Okay. My work. Okay. Me too. I'm going to check. And the last one. They have LEED, Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design Certification. Is important for you? Okay, yes, very, very important. For you? For the guarantee, the, the equipment. Okay, and you, Fosman? Depend, for me, depend the, the function of the company. For example, um, um, company, in my case, my, my company is a distributor of the product, um, not manufacturing. In case the manufacturing, this, this is necessary, the certification. And different, for example, in my company, is necessary certification, the EASO, for example, the, the service. Okay. More knowledge. Yeah, for me, they can the different company. This is my opinion. Um, for me, it's isn't necessary. Time's up. So make a decision and let's go back to the main room, okay? I think he's yes for the for the time's up. Let's go back to the main room. Okay, we are going to wait for everyone to go back. Let's go back, everyone. Okay. Easy or difficult the exercise? What do you think? I think all options in, in the screen are important, but mm -hmm. it is some difficult size or shoes the most important. Yes, that's the one. I know, guys, that there are some options that are difficult to decide, but I can see a, some of your classmates send it if you can see the screenshots on WhatsApp's group, right? There are some teams that have like similar ideas, okay? I can see some teams agrees in some ideas, but some others are a little bit different. So we are going to check uh, the groups, okay? Let me open up the pictures. Let's see, let's see. Uh, okay, give me a second, I can see. Hmm, what's going on? I can see five screenshots, but we only had four teams. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? Ah. Yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Osman uh, sent the, the, the capture for the screenshot first. Yes, yes, it teacher. Ah, uh, yeah, okay, now I understand, <laughs> thank you. Don't worry, it's Friday, <laughs> I understand. It's because of that, I understand. Because one participate. <laughs> All right, thank you. Okay, look at this one, let's compare. <laughs> the cause doesn't participate, I like that. Yes, guys, why do you have the camera off? Come on. Okay, let's see how many things do you have in common? This is one group, okay? 
In this, yes. I'm, I'm sorry, I am. I am. I have a problem with with my with my in, internet. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it interpreting. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you in for the, informing, Boris. In, in in the computer, I oil. Yeah, I, I connect the, 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 the cell phone. Uh, okay. uh, it's an a interpret consult with cell phone. Cell phone. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. it's okay. No worries. No worries. I understand. Thanks for informing. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So uh, look at this screenshot. In this team, they consider that almost all of them are important, except this one, um, they have a disaster recovery plan. Uh, they consider that maybe it's not so important. And they, if they have the certification that, you know, green companies, uh, it's not so important too. So why team? Why do you consider that uh, uh, to have a recovery plan is not so important that is screenshot i think that is from roberto yeah okay so why guys why do you consider that to have a disaster recovery plan is not that important because maybe uh, uh, if you have a disaster recovery plan the uh, is better I think it's better to, to recover a plan, but uh, uh, for the uh, important, uh, for the uh, for the uh, for the company, it doesn't care if you don't have to. Mm, OK, all right. Anyone's in the team? Do you agree with him? I agree. Mm, OK. Now let's see, in the team number two, in the team number two, it was Lorena Edwin. So let me share with you your work. In this scenario, they consider that the disaster recovery plan, it is important, but they consider that if they have experience in the country which you do business is not that important. If they have the certification, if green environment is not that important too. Why guys? Why do you consider that to have the certification is not so necessary? Why? Uh, we think that the certification is a plus, but it's not necessary. Um, if uh, we need to choose uh, between one uh, company that have certification to other that don't have, maybe choose the, the company with certification, but it's not necessary. Um, maybe uh, the six, uh, we think that the if the company have good a uh, preference is not necessary the experience uh, in the countries in which uh, you are working okay okay it sounds interesting so basically the certification and the experience in the country that you do the business is just a plus if they have it great but if they don't have it i mean it's okay too right yes Mm, interesting. So you see, guys, different opinions. I like that. Okay, then I have uh, another team. Let's see, guys, can you listen to me very well? Yes? Okay. Yes. Okay, sorry. Yes. I think that my internet is a little bit low, too. Okay, in the next team, I have Osman, Nelson, and Elias. Okay. Let me open yours. Give me a second. Okay. Yes, uh, is this is this yours, guys? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay. 
Look at these ones, guys. This looks different. In this team, they consider that the disaster recovery plan is not that important. Cross docking capability is not necessary too. And if they offer freight forwarding service, it's not necessary too. Okay, team, explain me why. Elias, Nelson? The, the, they have a disaster recovery plan. In sometimes is um, just that just uh, increment the, the cost and not always um, can be necessary. Uh, personally, I think that is important, but uh, some a lot of companies uh, don't have a recovery plan, and we continue with the operations, right? And in this case, uh, the cross docking capability is. Um, is um, it's the same idea because depend of the scenarios that you hire uh, outsourcing uh, but uh, um, if you hire only personnel to go to the company uh, it's not necessary that uh, the other company or the outsourcing company uh, have cross talking capability Okay, it sounds interesting. I like your point of view. Very good, very good. What else? Let's see. I think that we have the last team. Um, in the last team, it was Carlos, Josman, and Rafael. Yes? Let me share your picture. Is this the one, Jarvis? Yes? Yes. Okay, look at this team. Basically, they pick that all of these ones are important except the cross docking. Okay, why, guys? Why do you consider that cross docking is not that necessary? Okay, teacher. Uh -huh. uh, in, uh, consider it than not necessary cross docking and capacity. Because depend the the different companies. Uh, for example, and uh, review the case. For example, the companies that uh, uh, I have this moment a uh, certain sales the product. Um, and future is necessary uh, a more increment the sales, uh, increment the 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 the, the customer service and the logistic service, uh, this is necessary. A um, um, medida the company advance in your, in your, uh, in, in your salad. In this moment, uh, your capacity is, is, is good. Uh, your operation uh, no, is not necessary. It's a medida, a medida the future of uh, the company advance. This okay. is the opinion that the group. Because the order, the order question, yes, is, is important uh, in this moment, the company. I like that. Interesting. OK, it's guys. A, yes. A, in, in, I have an opinion. Go ahead. Uh, usually, uh, in this case, um, um, about the cross docking compa compa capability, capability. Uh, maybe it's not, not a good idea because uh, speak about to have a big a big warehouse uh, maybe it's a risk because uh, maybe the product uh, can be there a long time long time a company needs a, that, that outsourcing send the product very fast to the customer mm. uh, uh, maybe uh, uh, speak about a uh, big warehouse is no is no good idea. Okay, sounds good. Interesting. All right, guys, look at this one. If you see, we have different point of view, and that's what happens in the companies. So you might wonder, and you say, 
¿Y por qué contrataron a esta outsourcing, right? Why do they outsource this company? Y ustedes pueden decir, esta company tiene muchas fallas. ¿Por qué los habrán contratado a ellos? Well, it depends. Remember, they have different point of view. Possibly, you can think, ¿cómo pudieron contratar a una company that they don't have a disaster recovery plan, right? But it depends on the point of view of each one, okay? In this case, for example, the last team, they consider that this uh, lead certification, it is important, okay? They consider, hey, yes, it's necessary. Mm, there was another team that they considered that it was important too, but the two previous teams, look, they are like, mm, it's a plus, right? Some other teams consider that the disaster recovery plan, look, uh, it's just a plus if it is, it's not so important, but there are some teams that they say, no, that is an important thing. So this is just an example, guys, of the areas or the requirements that we need to consider when we are trying to outsource a company, okay? So some of these areas are important for some companies, some others, maybe not. That is going to depend on the kind of outsourcing that you want. Okay, so is it clear these characteristics, guys, for the candidates? Yes, is it clear the definitions? Any yes. questions? Any questions so far? No, no? so far so good. Excellent. So imagine if in, if in your job they say, hey, guys, Tenemos que contratar a otra company. We need to hire a third party logistic. So you can say, ah, okay, no problem. I already know what it, the checklist is. Let's start to see the candidates, okay? Let's see if they have all the characteristics that we are looking for, okay? So you are more than ready for that. Now, um, any questions about the vocabulary? No? Is that no. clear? Yes. So. Yeah, the teacher, uh, what is the translate of lead? Leadership in energy and environment design. Oh, okay. Basically, is that. Es como un diseño, guys, uh, de energía y, y like environmental. Es como del medio ambiente, right? So it's just the name of the certification. Mm-hmm. Leadership is liderazgo. Liderazgo, leader a la cabeza, right? Mm -hmm. It's como, well, let's see, if you want to translate it, it will be um, líderes en el diseño de energía y medio ambiente, right? It's so basically that's... to the process in the company. Basically. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, that these certifications is just a proof that the company is like green, okay? That they care about the environment, that they try to protect the nature, that they have a um, process to keep the environment. They try to um, don't contaminate, <laughs> all right? So this is basically what the uh, this certification means. Understood? Yes? Yes. Excellent. Okay, very good. Uh, so this was about, guys, the checklist. Remember the vocabulary, please, because later in the next units, we are going to use it, okay? Keep in mind that. Now, uh, let's continue talking. Yesterday, we were talking about expressing opinions. Do you remember that? Yes? Yes. Only one says yes, and the other ones? Yes. I feel yes. that yes. <laughs> All right. So can you name, can you remember some of the expressions that we can use if we want to express our opinions? In my opinion. Okay. Personally, I think that. 
Ah, very I would good. Say that. I believe that. Ah, excellent. I feel that. Uh huh. My view. Very in my good. View, in my po point Frank, of view. Frankly okay. speaking. Very frankly good. Speaking, speaking. Frankly speaking. Look at this one. Mm. Okay. I see that you remember. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So, yeah, those are the expressions that we can use in order to express our opinions. Now, sometimes, guys, <laughs> we agree with my classmates' opinions, but sometimes we don't agree, <laughs> right? So imagine if your classmate says, um, let's see, dogs are better than cats. Some of you can say, yes, I think the same, so I agree. But some others, guys, they can think different and they can say, mm -mm, I don't agree. So they are against. So we are going to learn some expressions that you can use if you are for or if you are against. Okay, let's see some of the expressions. Imagine in this case, let's see the different point of view. Okay. If you are in vacation, guys, what activities do you enjoy more? In your vacations, what do you do? Mm -hmm. What type of vacations do you enjoy? Do you enjoy going to the beach or staying at home, going to the mountain, traveling to another country, go to the restaurants? What type of vacations do you enjoy? Uh -huh. I enjoy it a lot. Go, go to mountain. Going to the mountain? Go, 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 go to the mountain. mountain. Okay, look at this one. This is a grammar rules. If you are using enjoy, after enjoy, enjoy uh, you always use a verb in ing. For example, I enjoy going I enjoy to the going. mountain. Okay, I enjoy going to the mountain. Ah, okay, why? Also, I enjoy go to the restaurant. Going to a restaurant? Going, going to the restaurant, yes. Mm, sounds good. And you guys, do you think the same? Do you enjoy going to the mountain too? Or do you have another yeah, idea? I want to travel. Another uh, country. Ah, so look at this. We have different point of view already. One the of your... the uh -huh. first days of my vacation, I enjoy sleeping all the day. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, different point of view. Excellent. So we have going to the mountain, sleeping all day, or traveling to another country. Sounds good. What else? In my case, in my case, uh, excuse me. Sorry, okay. Lorena. Lorena. Continue. Okay, glad. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, in my case, is a uh, uh, enjoy is at is at the beach. Mm. Uh, okay. Uh, I uh, how do you say arena? Sand. Ah, okay, okay. I, 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 I enjoy a walk in the sand. Ah, okay. Uh, I, I enjoy the the weather, the weather mm -hmm. in the in the in the night. Ah, so you like to go to the beach, but at night. Uh, in the afternoon, uh, the afternoon and, and, and night. Ah, sounds good. Sounds good. All right. Uh huh, Lorena. How about you? Uh, I enjoy um, walking, walking into the forest and listening the birds. Mm -hmm. So basically, the nature. Yes. Ah, so look at this, guys. 
just in this moment, we discovering different point of view. Some of your classmates think the same, but some others, they don't agree. So for example, imagine if we say, guys, we are going to go on vacation to the same place. We will go to the beach. So some of you will say, yes, like bodies, right? Bodies will say, yes, fantastic. But some of you will say like, I oh, know, let's go to the mountain. Or, hey, no, come on, let's go to a forest. Hey, why don't we just stay <laughs> in the house and sleep? Or why don't we just travel to another country? So we don't always have the same opinion. So that's why we need to learn phrases to express if we agree or if we don't. For example, if you agree with someone, what phrases can you use? Look at this one, we can say, I totally agree with that, or I totally agree with you. For example, if I say, I consider guys that going to the beach is the best idea for vacation. Do you agree? You're right. Very good. So you can say, yes, teacher, you are right. And you guys agree or disagree? I'm not sure about that, to be honest. Ah, very good. So those phrases sounds much better if you say that I know. No, right? The idea is to use phrases. Another example, imagine that I say coffee is better without sugar. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Do you agree or not? For me, I agree. I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you can say, no, nah, teacher, I disagree. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you guys? I totally okay. agree. Yes. <laughs> I totally agree. Uh huh. I don't like the coffee with sugar, teacher. You don't like coffee with sugar? Mm, I can't drink. I can't drink. Drink it. <laughs> yeah, extra points for you. <laughs> okay, imagine that I say, uh, what else? What else? Avengers is the best movie. Have you seen Avengers? Yes. I'm not sure about it. Yes. How that, that's true. Yes. yes. Superhero. <laughs> I totally agree with that. Okay, some of you say, mm, I'm not sure about it. Some of you say, I totally agree with it. Um, reggaeton music is bad. What do you think? You are right, teacher. <laughs> you yeah, must absolutely, be joking, teacher. Absolutely. <laughs> ah, so you don't like really? reggaeton? No, you must be <laughs> absolutely not. Oh, you don't want to say it. Mm. <laughs> Imagine if I say sushi is disgusting. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Come on, I disagree. Ah, absolutely, okay. yes, it's disgusting. <laughs> Okay, so look at this one. Some of you say, oh, come on, teacher, sushi is delicious. Or you can say, absolutely. I totally agree. Sushi is terrible. <laughs> okay, look, little details, guys. We can agree or disagree, all right? So we are going to see how many things do we have in common. I have some of these um, questions and I want to see if you agree with your classmates or not. For example, the best movie ever made. <laughs> what do you think guys? For you, what is the best movie of all the time? Any idea? Gladiator. Which one? I think the Gladiator is that Oh, right? Gladiator. Gladiator. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever seen that I movie? I think guys? the best movie. Yes. Is... Yes, yeah. teacher. Avatar. For okay. me, it's the, the, the best oh, movie. Come on. 
<laughs> but listen, you have to use the expression. So he said that Gladiator is the best movie. What do you think? That's Absolutely. true. <laughs> I totally agree with that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> For me, it's the best movie, teacher. Okay, okay. I, I, can, see, I can see it uh, many, many times. Okay, cool. Now, some of your classmates said Avatar. So what do you think, guys? Come on. Now. <laughs> <Hey>. Okay. <laughs> and you, you can... must be joking. You must be joking. <laughs> now, this is what I want you to do. Your classmates, you have to read the statement, tell me your opinion, and your classmate will say if they agree or not. Please respect your classmate opinions, right? I mean, you have to be respectful too. I'm going to send on WhatsApp's group all these scenarios, okay? And discuss the scenarios with your classmates. Please, the idea is to use the expressions, okay? So first of all, you can say if you agree or not, and then you can give your opinion using the phrases. For example, as your classmate said, Avatar. Is Avatar the best movie for you? You can say, ah, come on, and then give your okay. opinion. You can say, mm, I believe that the best movie is not Avatar. I feel that the best movie is Gladiator. So you see, you are expressing if you agree or not, and then you are expressing your own opinion. Understood? Yes? Yes, yes But use the vocabulary. Please, if you listen that your classmate is not using the vocabulary, tell them, hey, no, use the vocabulary, please. Okay, tell them. Now, uh, let me open up the groups again. Um, give me a second. I have some people that are listeners, I guess. So just let me to move to another team. Give me a second. Let me just create the groups. If you are in a group, guys, that nobody's talking uh, because they are listener, please just let me know, okay? Let's go to work. We only have 15 minutes, so it's very short activity. Full English, I don't want to listen to Spanish. Let's go to work. Hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. Okay, the best movies ever made, in my opinion, is Deeper Creepers. What do you think? Which one the movies? Is a terror movie. <laughs> terror. Yes. Okay. I'm totally agree. It's it's a great movie. It's it's funny. The funniest and um... when they will uh, eat people. <laughs> <laughs> For me and my friends, sorry. <laughs> um, uh, Lisa, what do you think? Okay. Uh, um, I don't know. Never see the movie. That's a movie. But I don't know. No. Maybe like give a, a give your opinion about the terror the terror movie mm -hmm. in general. Well, um, uh, before I liked the movie the about the 
the zero. But right now, I don't know. I don't like it. But um, it's uh, is excellent for you, the, the movie, but for me, in, I don't disagree. <laughs> Okay. How movie do you prefer? Okay. Um. What movie? My, for me, the best movie is uh about action movie, or or gladiadores. I don't know. I don't know Ooh. how to say that. But uh, I don't. Normally, I don't have time for the for to for watch movie but sometimes i i watch the movie in in different moment but uh normally i don't have time for for that okay edwin or mm. yes yes um i don't know the best movie ever made mm -hmm. there are many movies that i like it but i always uh, consider the fiction science and my favorite like uh, superheroes and another ones for example avengers Okay, I disagree because uh, <laughs> I don't want a suspense movie. <laughs> I don't like. Why? Uh, for me, wait for that. Uh, who? Uh, uh, no, I don't know how do you say suceder. Uh, what uh, make or uh, I see. Uh, before, 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 uh, no, after it. For me, it's, it's a stressful uh, wait. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Another one that I like it, it's uh, X-Men. Ah, okay. That's good. Do really, do you like uh, uh, a superhero movies? Yes. <laughs> Jose, creo que está como oyente. I believe that is only a listener. Yes. Okay. Yes. Maybe uh, Evelisa, the second question, maybe? Or topic? Oh, you talk for entertainment, but yeah. not uh, <laughs> the content in this platform is. Mm, beneficial mm -hmm. awesome. uh, guys uh, I, yeah. I always I always say I always <laughs> say the the app uh, the platform is not good for us but uh, we we had to to accept uh, there are many people use use uh, very well this this app for things for things good no no is bad no is bad yeah for me uh, my opinion uh, the networking is different platform and depend the content the different yes ways. depend the content yes yeah, yeah. this is like, this is different and the more uh, in this time, the young, I prefer the video and uh, um, dance, for example. No, no content, for example, the and view the algo uh, product product for, for for her, for his, for example, no view the uh, a platform the 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 learning. On the list, and if for example, I am uh, use the platform the 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 practice the English every day uh, more the vocabulary. This is my yes. my my case, right? And or oh, the young view the video the the music the artists no in your and 
and benefit for uh, benefit the kids for is new opinion yes uh, the, the big, <clears throat> for me the big, for me the big problem is uh, that many people made bad use about the about this platform or app yeah. okay 50 50 yes 50 /50. <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah. Ni good or ni bad or right? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's continue. Uh, number four. Uh, number, uh, number three, right? Number, number three. three. Number three. English is a very English easy language to learn. What do you think? We had to say yes. I agree. No, <laughs> we are, come we are on, we are no. <laughs> 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 if, if, if you if you say no agree, the teacher was uh, will be angry, <laughs> right? <laughs> teacher are listening. I am, I am. So be careful because yeah. I will lower your score. Mm. Uh, for example, really? Yes, Nelson, <laughs> ten point less. <laughs> Nelson, oh, yeah. it, it, it is like Nelson will repeat the level. <laughs> Why? I say the English is not easy. Ah, you have to say that it is easy. No. Why not? No. Pointless. <laughs> no. I so disagree why, with that. Why? Why is not easy? Because uh -huh. it needs uh, much time. Because you don't and, you, you don't pay attention and, to the class. <laughs> teacher, teacher, I think I think that the, the problem is we we, we don't practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Practice. that's yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely, we don't practice big because in our job. Uh, mm -hmm. The people not speaking, not speak English. Mm -hmm. For this That's reason, we, we don't practice. Yeah, imagine this in the class. Sometimes is the only moment that you can practice, and some of your classmates don't like to practice in the class. Imagine. So the, the difference, the di the difference, yeah, uh, the people yeah. when the people uh, go to United States, wherever, wherever, wherever you want, you go. The, uh, the people say English. Exactly. You are <laughs> practicing English all the time. That's yes. the secret, guys. Yes. Depend the teacher. The teacher. <laughs> <laughs> in my in my opinion, my opinion, uh, 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 the teacher Clarissa uh, explain good explain. Oh, so you in see, my case, extra I, points. I, I, extra I, points. I, I <laughs> understand. I, <laughs> okay, I'm glad. I'm glad that you understand me. Very good. Extra point for Carlos. He's ready for the next level. And Hosman, what, what do you think, Hosman? Do you agree with your classmates or what's your opinion? Um, it's necessary to practice, in my opinion, um, because the, uh, the comment that Hosman um, in the job, no. The the working no is no practice no is to no learn English mm -hmm. and all that is necessary. For example, in my case, I view the series in Netflix or other platform in English and um, and the listening, for example, or listening to music because no no other for the practice. And that is the yeah. key, everyone. That is yeah. extra mile. That is like hacer la mía extra, right? Aquí en la yeah. clase, I will give you the 20%. The rest depends on you, okay? But English yeah. is easy. English is easy. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Okay, guys, you are talking a lot. Very good. We have three more minutes. I'm going to check another okay. team and continue practicing, please. Okay, okay. Next yeah. question. Who's here? Is anyone here? Yes, oh. we are here. Did you finish? We, we, we were here. <laughs> <laughs> and why why is nobody talking? We, we did it. We, we Oh you already finished? Yeah. We are waiting for you. Uh -huh. and remember, 
Uh, today is Friday. Undibadi uh, knows, knows that. that. Ah, oh. okay. So oh. everyone, everyone, I want to know your opinion. Do you think that all the politicians are the same? What do you think? Yes, we have the same uh, criteria and uh, the same uh, knowledge and the same uh, word. We all agree. Oh, do you agree? <laughs> the, all the politicians are the same. <laughs> okay. So we don't, we don't have to, uh, we don't need to say bad uh, words. <laughs> Please don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So guys, we don't have more time. We need to go back to the main room. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's go back. Let's go back. Time's up. Let's wait for your classmates. Some of them are still in the breakup rooms. We are going to wait for them. Time's up, time's up. Let's go back. All right, all right. Let's go back, everyone. Interesting answers I was listening to. All right, guys, let's go back to the main room. All right, all right. How was the practice? Was it easy or difficult? Easy or difficult to express your opinions? What do you think? Teacher, we, 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 we were exciting with the sentence number five. <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, okay. Uh, everybody is the same. <laughs> I Four think that in all the- are the same. In another groups, they agree too. <laughs> yes, uh, only change the people. Definitely. The, the, the person for, okay. for all is the same. All right. So everybody, let me ask you, did your classmate agree with you in some of the questions? Yes? Ooh, no. no. Not in all of them. No, okay. most, moment, most of them. Maybe in most some of, of them. them. Ah. Most of them only uh, with, the, with the movie. Ah, okay. Difference. Did your classmate use the expressions of agree and disagreement? Yes, very well. Yes, teacher. Did your classmate yes. use the uh, expressions for expressing their opinions? Yes, we yeah. try it. Yes. Did your classmates speak in Spanish? No, oh, no, nobody, never, nobody. Never, nobody. Never, 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 no. No one. No way. Did your classmate give details? More or yes. less. Yes. Sure. Yes. Actually, guys, I was listening that I mean, <laughs> all of you were very excited talking about the topics and, yeah. and talking today, a lot. Today is Friday, you know that. <laughs> Your body knows that. Okay. <laughs> Ese mismo espíritu quiero ver el Monday. <laughs> okay. Uh, Monday. <laughs> Monday. Because I on don't Monday. Difficult day. Monday, the body knows. I don't too. promise it. <laughs> <laughs> es que ahorita on Monday. Los... Uh -huh. Ahorita los veo así con un gran feeling, right? But on Monday, my good. Mondays are difficult. Because it's Friday. Yeah. Friday okay, Friday. guys. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, we don't have more time. Eh, hoy no voy a dejar que se quede nadie. I know it's Friday. You want to relax. So, no winners extra, for today. <laughs> extra for the teacher. But, but listen, nice listen. Weekend. Before nice you go, weekend. before you go, before you go, listen, platform. Tengo personas que no me han trabajado en ninguna unidad de la plataforma. No quería decir nombres, but eh, tengo que hacerlo. Neftali no me ha trabajado en ninguna unit de la plataforma. Kevin, This weekend, I will do it. Okay. Kevin, tengo que solo he terminado una unidad, así que Kevin, necesito que le meta también, please. Y Santiago, tampoco me ha trabajado nada en la unit. Yes. Así que do it, please. Eh, Wilber, do you have a question? No, nope. no teacher. I uh, just said uh, I have I haven't 
finish the unit two. Also. Yes, exactly. And remember, guys, el midterm. La mayoría ya hizo el midterm. Solo Neftali, Kevin, Santiago y Wilbur no me han hecho el eh, midterm. Guys, tienen que hacerlo, please. Así que este weekend traten de meterle al menos a terminar platform eh, en la unit one, two, el midterm y al menos hasta la mitad de la unit three, ¿ok? Porque a mí no me han avanzado mucho. ¿Got it? Yes. Excellent. Everybody, have a good weekend. Enjoy. Bye -bye. See you on Monday. Yeah. Enjoy your weekend. Bye.